Hello and welcome to Hyper Production TV. Today we're going to be looking at a DAW introduction and the chosen program is Logic Pro 10. So if we go down to the bottom here and select Logic Pro 10, it's going to load up all the plugins that are involved with the program, so it's going to scan a few as well. And then at the top here, it's going to say Logic Pro 10 followed by File, Edit, Track, Navigate, Record, Mix, View, Window and Help. This is just to acknowledge that the program is open. So if we go to File and New, it's going to ask you a series of questions as in what plugin strip you want. So we either get a choice of software instrument, audio, drummer, external MIDI, guitar or bass. Now the two main ones that you're going to be using throughout your whole time of Logic Pro, or at least for me anyway I've always used, is software instrument and audio. So for the sake of this tutorial I'm just going to show you a quick one on software instrument. So if we click create, you can close up these windows here, you won't need those for now. Now it's going to operate, sorry, uh, it's going to open up a channel here that is your channel strip and you'll hear that name referred to a lot throughout the tutorials on this channel. So here we are, it's going to give you setting, EQ, MIDI effects and instrument and audio effects plus your send as well. The main one we're going to be looking at is instrument. This is the one that you're just going to need to get up and be making music straight away. So if we click on instrument, it's going to give you a list of stock plugins that come with Logic Pro 10. So you've got an FM synth here, all the different types of synthesis, so FM you'll see, um, the sort of polyphonic, monophonic, uh, and you'll hear sort of wavetable, um, frequency modulation, and uh, subtractive, additive, granular, and all those other names you'll hear throughout the, uh, the series of the channel. I will be doing a tutorial focused on what those particular ones are, but for now, we're just doing back to basics at the very core of what you need to be making music. So for this sake, we're going to be using Retro Synth. It's a very easy uh, to navigate synth. So as you can see, I'm going to press my, uh, my key here on my keyboard. As you can see, we've got a sound coming up straight away. So it's a nice sounding synth. To get the to get the sorry the presets on there, you're going to be going down to this file, so this Dropbox from Factory Default down here, and it's going to give you an option of all your leads, pads, bass, and strings. I will also be talking in another tutorial about why they're called the different sounds that they are, so leads, pads, and basses. So leads, this is more sort of your upfront singular sound in the track, maybe to play your hook on. Click another one. If you just click between left and right here, it's going to take you through forward or backwards through the presets involved. Okay, we'll just try out a couple of the pad ones. Uh, I don't know. We'll just we'll just start for the first one, shall we? So there we are, and then we'll just try out a few of the bases, eighties bass, whatever that is. There you go, it's a nice little bass sound. Maybe another one. A lot of these are referring a lot to, well, what I feel anyway, a lot of the sort of the new uh, sort of ha wave of house music that's coming in at the moment in the charts. Uh, you know, Clean Bandit and Gorgon City. So a biting FM, that would be your. There you are, okay. Okay, so the next one, that's your, that's your MIDI sorted, that is your essence of your MIDI sorted. We're going to be looking on to recording MIDI on a different, on a different, uh, a different episode. So, I'm going to click backspace to delete that channel, and then it's going to ask me what other channel strip I want. Logic doesn't like to have just an open uh, a sort of an open pro um, open program with nothing, no channels to refer to. So it will always ask you what channel strip you want. So we we'll click on audio. Now, when I open up this audio channel, it's going to come up with a with an input uh, like showing that there is some signal there. It's because my microphone is plugged into my audio interface to be able to record this tutorial. So we're going to click create, and there we have, as you can see, my vocals are coming through on that channel. We can always take that off and then obviously it won't be recording recording there. I'm going to open up sample pack now and then I'm going to put the sample pack in there. So I've got one set up already, which has got a mixture of different type of uh, tools to use to be able to start making some music straight away. So we're going to use a kick drum for now. 
So on, on sorry, the uh, Macintosh, if you press spacebar, once you've highlighted a folder, or a file, sorry, it's going to preview that particular sample. So then you can go through and... So there we go. So let's try and find one that's nice and... Uh, So that's quite a nice whole body one. So then if we just upload it, put it up there, we're just going to do a basic 4-4 four, four beat going across, just putting it on all the beats there. And what I'm doing there to copy and paste, I am holding the Alt key as it would be, or for older Mac users, the Option key. So if I highlight all them, click and then press Alt, you'll see a little plus sign come up there. You drag it across and that's a really quick and easy way to multiply your various files across there. So then there we have it. And then if you click the little bar, this one is your loop function. So then you can just sort of go across and it will snap to the bars so that I can drag that across, extend it like that, and then it will loop through. And already you've got your basic for a simple sort of house track, let's say. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to bring up some more samples just to uh, some different ones other than a kick so we shall get let's say a vocal that I've got so I've got a vocal on here so let's have a listen can you tell me how you from here okay so that's a nice little vocal now we may want to add a couple of things on the vocal so EQing for example so it's pretty self-explanatory on the channel here on the left we're going to be clicking on the EQ and it automatically brings up Logix Pro's own EQ. Okay. Now, if we when you play the audio channel, can you nothing's gonna show up. We need to switch the analyzer on to realize what frequencies that particular audio file is hitting. So we click that on. Can you there we go? Tell me? And then we can go through the vocal and can you tell me? How you from here? Look, see, the EQ is working on that straight away. And actually, the new EQ within Logic Pro is actually really good. Um, there's a lot of cool features on there as well. I find that the attenuation towards different frequencies is a lot sharper than the old um, the old EQs that they had as well, which is and the analyzer is a lot sharper as well. So overall, it's a good EQ to start using, especially if you're just beginning uh, starting using any sort of digital audio work surface. Okay. So if you wanted to add any other plugins, so say we've just clicked on EQ and that's going to open up, it opens there in the audio effects. So if we just get rid of that, so you click on the edge there and no plugin, click on audio effects and it'll give you a drop down menu of stock plugins that are involved with Logic Pro. It all comes with it, it comes with a humongous amount of sounds and plugins. Anybody can get started making music straight away and start making industry standard music straight away as well. So if we click here and go on to compressor, it'll open up your compressor straight away. If you're not too familiar with compressors, I will be doing a tutorial on how compressors work and what a good and a bad compressor sounds like. But for now, if you're just starting, if you click down onto factory default, it will load up some presets. So we can go onto voice, and then let's say we go onto studio vocal. That sounds like the most uh, the most sort of um, appropriate one to be using. So here we go. Can you tell me how you from? And I'll click it off. Can you? As you can see, started working straight away on the plug-in strip just there. That is all for the DAW introduction for now to get you up and running and making music straight away. Don't forget to subscribe, and if there's any questions that you have, please leave a comment in the section below. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.